Yeah, I, I remember it very clearly. I went to a philanthropy in Jewish school, which was quite a distance from where I lived. And at that time, I, I went to school by myself. And when I got to, to my class, there was something ominous going around. That there were a lot of the children were crying, and I could feel there was something really bad going on. And uh, we were in the class for a while, and two teachers came into our room, and you could tell they were very upset. And they said we should go home right away and not stop and talk to anybody, which we did. And um, on my way home, there was on the street I lived, there was like a little grocery store. Just I passed it before I got to my house. And they knew us well because my mother used to go in there and buy groceries. As I got to my street, right sort of past that store, they were beating up a man right in front of the house that I lived in. And I, I don't know if I knew he was Jewish, but all I know is they were beating up somebody. So I was afraid to go home, so I went into that store to ask if somebody would please bring me home, and they refused. And so I did manage to get home. But uh, I know for a long time I, I didn't leave the house anymore. And another thing is, we had a balcony. And just a little further down, on the end of the street, there was a big like an avenue. And across from there, I mean, we could see it from our balcony, was a Jewish orphan home. And that day, they, they burned it, they ransacked it, and all the children. I remember seeing the children coming out of the house. Yeah, I remember all that. Then all night, I heard the fire engine. It was, it was strange. You could feel something terrible happen in the air, sort of, you know? Something ominous. 